Hello and welcome to another Ride One Up tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the features of the KD21C display. This is the default display on the 500 series and the Core 5 models. Alright, let's get started. To power on, we hold the middle button. The first two basic features to turn on the headlight, hold the plus button. To activate walk assist, hold the minus button. The display will show the odometer by default. Tapping the M button will bring up the trip reading. And let's go ahead and show you how to reset this. Holding the plus and minus button enters the menu. Cycle through to TCY, which is trip computer reset, and hold the middle button to reset the trip computer. The next display option is the time, which is the time of your ride. This will reset whenever you turn the display off. The next important feature is the wattage. This measure will show you the real-time watt output of the motor. This is a very valuable metric to show you how efficiently you're using the motor. Alright, the next feature of the display is to reset to default. To do this, from the main screen, you hold down the middle and plus button. Cycle through to default yes, and hold the middle button to reset the display. Alright, let's go over the menu settings again. BL, adjust your backlight strength. U1 and U2 changes between metric and imperial. Now let's go through the advanced menu. Voltage allows you to adjust the voltage readouts on your display. Here you can cycle through and adjust the voltage readout for each battery bar shown on the display. Let's exit out and move on to the next setting. SCA allows you to customize the number of pedal assist levels and the strength at each level. I like to set my display at 0 through 5 and lower the power at each level. So here at level 1, I'm moving the power down to 25%. Then I will continue on and lower level 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's exit out and we make sure it saved our settings and let's go on to the next. Advanced setting number three is the current restrict option. The default value here may vary based on your generation. This number determines the max amount of current or wattage that can be sent to the motor. I recommend no more than 18. All right, let's store that setting and exit out. The next advanced settings are the power assistance settings. We wanna leave that in run F for forward. SCN represents the sensitivity of the pedal assist. The lowest number is the most sensitive, so I like to set this to 2. N is for the number of magnets in the pedal assist sensor, which should be set to 12. Advanced menu setting number 5. SPS is for the speed sensor. You want to leave that at the default value. The next advanced menu, number 6, adjust your throttle settings. Unless you want to turn off your throttle, Leave this at the default value N. If you select Y and save your setting, you can disable the throttle. Advanced setting number 7 is the system settings. Here you can limit the max speed, LS, which is in kilometers. You can turn on or off the walk assist. You can adjust the percentage of pedal assist output. And you can set a slow startup, if you'd like. All these system settings are explained in the display manual attached in the description below. On to the final advanced menu setting, number 8, the power on password option. The default value here changes by generation. On the newer generations, the default password is 1212. When entered correctly, you will be asked to decide yes or no for a power on password. If you select yes, it will ask for a new password. If you set a password here, do not lose it, as the display will become useless without the password.
As you can see, every time you turn on the bike, it will require a password. On to the final settings. From the first menu, if you hold the middle and minus button, you can adjust a couple general parameters. Here you can change your wheel size, which you shouldn't need to do, and you can change the speed limit setting. And that's it for now. Hopefully this better explains some of the advanced settings in the KD21C display.